a lot of guys collect cars, but a lot of times you just collect them because you like a particular car, right. or you like a model, or you like something about that car. But these cars I'm emotionally attached to. I've been fortunate to be able to collect what I have. This is my 71 Mercury. This is the first wow. car. I bought it in 71. I raced it at Talladega in 1972. Led the race in it. Really? Had a, had a really good run going in, and I was a rookie, and that was my first race. Well, I went to Talladega. What? Talladega was your first race? That was the first place <laughs> I went. Great. And people always say, why, did, by fire, why right? did you go to Talladega? I said, because my car was ready, and that was the race that we're having that week. Wow. So this is back when oh, yeah. you used uh, stock, yeah, this, stock yeah. hoods, you'd go stock to, fenders. Yeah, you'd go stuff. to the junkyard. Now you might carve on them a little bit and narrow them up and cut the bumpers and you know make it so a little more. So it's got more, a tube but, frame, right? Oh, a racing yeah. frame, but yeah. then you put the stock, it's stock got a, body it's parts. It's got a snout on it, just like they have today. Uh, but uh, it's, the cars structurally haven't changed that much. Really? Uh, technology is what's changed. Mm -hmm. How they build them, the way they build them. Uh, the materials they use, that's what's changed. So how, how, does, how does a car like this handle differently than, than doing Talladega in one of your well, later cars? I mean, did we know anything about aerodynamics? <laughs> no. I think not. <laughs> but it looks great. Oh, it's a, it's it a, looks it's a great. Cool car. There's something about NASCARs from this era that I just love. This car was actually an 81 oh, Buick. This is a road race, so you ran this. Yeah, I ran it at Riverside. Riverside, that was, yeah, that was before they started running up at Sonoma. And it was really one of the first all full-blown road race cars there was. See the oil coolers moved over here. Oh, right, uh-huh. The chassis offset. Uh, everything was built. Uh, everything was put over on the, on the uh, right side to make it, where we normally put everything on the left side, right. and just moved everything over, moved the engine over, did you do much road racing or was it mostly ovals? You know, we did Riverside uh, right. all through the 70s and 80s. I won six races at Riverside. Wow. That's one of my favorite cars. This is amazing. This is a little Camaro. Camaros ran NASCAR. I didn't, well, you know, this I didn't... is the modified division. So we're, all these modified guys are trying to figure out, well, what are we going to do for Daytona? So they're all making all these old ugly noses and pieces to put on their modifieds to go to Daytona. Well, we look in the rule book and say, hey, man, you can run a Camaro. And uh, this hood is really heavy. These are Volkswagen fenders. They're Volkswagen yeah. fenders? So if a Camaro married a Volkswagen and had a baby. This is what it, it looked like. This yeah. is what it looked like. Slick, slick piece. <laughs> She's ready to race. So this car has an incredible history. It's, it was built in 1977 and it never was in a wreck. Oh, wow. It's one on quarter miles, half miles, one miles, road courses, and mile and a half race. Really? Track. Road courses and, wow. Yeah. The same car. So it just, you get every now and then you get a it's car. It's one of that those just, cars that I guarantee you could take it to Charlotte and probably won't win in it right now. Wow. It's just, it's just that way. It's just one of those Got cars that always it drove great. No matter who drove it, everybody loved it. I always, I always think of personalities with you know, with cars and stuff, and it's this, this would be a car with a lot of heart. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this was my Western Auto car, my this chrome car. This is, well, I think, one of the most beautiful cars ever, to ever race. That thing on the racetrack is so awesome. Uh, oh. sco yeah, it's gorgeous. It looks so cool. I, I, had, I had the chrome helmet, the dark chrome uh. reflective shield. I had Bill Simpson to build me a chrome uniform, <laughs> which was out of that, you know, you've seen fireman uni yeah, fireman's yeah, uniforms. Yeah. What well, was that kind of crickly kind of stuff? I couldn't race in it, but I took a lot of pictures in it. Oh, I see. And I had chrome <laughs> shoes, and I had chrome car. When we asked you what, what car you wanted, what you wanted to look like in, in the movie. Yeah. You know, yeah. you said, what is, what is Daryl Cartrip going to look like? And you said chrome. Chrome. Right away, you said that's, chrome with flames. Chrome with flames. That's that's as good as it can get. Yeah, chrome with if flames. If you're a car guy from our era, particularly, <laughs> chrome and flames. That's two things you gotta have. Yeah, gotta boy, have. you do look good in the movie too. <laughs> you look really good in the movie. I gotta say, it's my favorite car in the oh, movie. Oh, I love it. I, this is one of my favorite vets. Look at that silver yeah. leather interior. In May of '78, we're riding dealers around the racetrack. Mm -hmm. And I'm driving this one, and I say, 
God, I love this This thing is beautiful. I said, man, I'm going to tell you all something. If I win this race Sunday, put my name on this baby. I said, I'm going to buy this car. So I won the race on Sunday. I woke up Monday morning, and this car was sitting in my driveway. Really? <laughs> yeah. An old Stooges truck. I finished six at Martinsville in that truck. So how do trucks drive in comparison to cars? People always say, well, how do you keep the back ends under those things? So they, they think about them being tail happy, you know? Right. But when you, these things have got a lot more downforce than people think they do. The air comes over here, and yeah, it's got a pretty tall cab, but you've got this whole back sealed off. Just and so when the air comes over, this spoiler's almost as high as the roof, so this thing has got a ton of, well, half ton, of rear <laughs> downforce. You know, we said at the beginning, that's our first car, and this is my last car right here. Uh -huh. This is a uh, Route 66. Route 66, it's like, uh, it's like Radiator Springs, you know. Yep, I sat on front row at Indy in 2000. That was a highlight of 2000. Uh, I thought I was going to get the Poe at Indy, and Ricky Rudd ended up beating me by 200s. Wow. And uh, I had an awesome car that day. And I finished 11th, but I had a winning car. I just made a bad pit stop. That was the highlight of the whole 2000 season, Yeah, unfortunately. I can't tell you how you've influenced this film. Well, and in great. so ways. It's like even before I got to know you and just watching your work you know, on Fox and your racing and stuff, but then getting to know you and what you've You've helped take this, yeah. the animators and the, and the authenticity up and the, and the excitement for it up to another level. What a move by McQueen. He's caught up to the leaders. Oh, yeah, this is what it's all about. A three-way battle for the lead with 10 to go. Well, I know you and I know your reputation and I know what you've done already with these animations. And so uh, you could even take a, an old country bumpkin like me and, and, and what I know and what you know and I always like to say your two and my two makes five. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, bud. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Oh, it's been really fun.